Hello, 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 hello. Today we're going to revisit Archimedes' principle. This is a container which has liquid inside filled all the way to the brim. And the density of the liquid is rho. The mass of the container plus the mass of the liquid is capital M. This container filled to the brim with liquid is standing on a bathroom scale. And the weight of the bathroom scale indicates clearly capital M times G, which is the gravitational acceleration. Capital M times little g, Newtons. Now, I have never in my life seen a bathroom scale which is calibrated in Newtons, okay? I have lived 30 years in Europe and 42 years in the United States. In Europe, all bathroom scales are calibrated in kilograms. In the United States, in pounds. That's even worse. But kilograms is fine. So yes, this bathroom scale would indicate n times little g newtons, but that means that a European bathroom scale would simply indicate that the weight is capital M kilograms. There is an object with a volume capital V and mass little m. This object, if I push it down into the liquid, will start to float. That's a given. It wants to float. I drew the object as a sphere, but that's not necessary. What counts is that the volume is capital V. It was easier for me to draw a circle. I attach to this object a rod. The rod is so thin that you can completely ignore the thickness of the rod. I, Walter Lewin, push this object into this liquid. I have to push down on the rod because the object wants to float. When that happens, liquid will flow out of this container, of course. It will not fall onto the bathroom scale. It will fall outside the bathroom scale. And the amount of liquid that will fall out is, of course, has a volume capital V. That's obvious. So, I push down on that rod and I hold that down here into the liquid. And the liquid is again filled to the brim. I now want to know what is the weight that the bathroom scale will indicate. Again, you can give me that weight in Newtons, I have no problems with that. Now we're going to make the situation a little bit more complicated. So here, the object is already in the liquid. So that means a volume capital V of liquid has been spilled out, but none of it is on the bathroom scale. But now, in a clever way, I attach the object with a string to the bottom of the container. And the string has a negligible size and has completely neg neg negligible mass. So the object wants to go up, but the string will hold it down. And in this situation, I now want to know what is the weight that the bathroom scale will indicate. And by all means, if you want to, give me that weight in Newtons. So the only variables that you have is rho, capital M, capital V, and little m. So that's the only thing that can be in your answer, plus, of course, the gravitational acceleration, g. Now, you would make my life very easy 
if you use some numerical piece of information that I will give you right now. Let's assume that capital M is 5 kilograms. Let's assume that mass little m is 1 kilogram. That the density of the liquid is 1 gram per cubic centimeter, so that means it's pure water. And that the volume of this object is 2,000 cubic centimeters. You can convince yourself immediately that with this combination, the object indeed wants to float. It wants to go up. Using these numbers, use those numbers for this solution, the first solution that I wanted to know the weight in this case, and use these numbers to tell me what the weight is in this case. And now do me a favor. Don't give me the answers in Newton. Give me the answers in kilogram. Let's assume that this is a civilized bathroom scale in Europe, which is calibrated in kilograms. So with these numbers, plug them into your answer and tell me what the weight is that this bathroom scale will indicate in terms of kilograms and then when the situation has changed with the string, what is now the weight in kilograms that the bathroom scale will indicate? Okay? Have a nice day. Take care. And for sure, we will remain friends. That goes without saying. <laughs>